Welcome to Drafting and Design Center. Today I will talk about design of RAM RAM. The topics will be covered, which are guidelines, which guidelines it applies to for designing of the RAM RAM, orientation. Copram dimension as per the A standard. Dimension of Copram for guide to road design part four intersection design and crossing. Copram for pedestrian detail standard drawings, and the and lastly the situation. I will talk about. Uh, why and what could have gone wrong during the construction not following the standards so let's just start designing of the pram uh, currently there are two standards available uh, part 4 intersection and crossing guide to road design that covers explains uh, about pram ramp uh, car ramp and exactly uh, details about requirement uh, also AS1428 provides guidance regarding to designing of the car ramps so orientation point of view when we design car ramp especially it implies to urban and rural intersection could be at the end of the footpath where it provides smooth movement from footpath towards the road and allows pedestrian including vision improvement as well as disabled people to cross the road and then uh, go into the footpath And it should be obstruction free path. The path should be obstruction free when we design the car ramp. We need to provide skid resistance for the surface material. Pits and entry pits should be clear of pedestrian path when designing of the car ramp. The crossing should be directed as straight as possible for vision impaired pedestrian. Detector uh, used to be installed for all user. Need to provide a vertical clearance for all utility as well as uh, uh, electrical uh, appliances uh, and uh, asset nearby. The gradient to be one in 10% desirable. The cross pole should not exceed 1 in 100. Skid resistance of the surface material need to be provided and it helps to minimize the crossing distance. So these are the orientation when we design it, we construct it, how we can orient and what we need to be unsure about including including the surface resistance clearance cross fall gradient and the location these are the dimension of the curb ramp uh, as per the AS1428 the curb ramp rise has to be maximum 190 so the rise is here defined as a 190 the length which is defining as a as a 1520 maximum which you can see here length gradient from landing to the gradient is 18% maximum and then it from that lower landing it rising up at 45 degree and before that the dimension of upper landing is also provided so there are the dimensions provided as per the AS1428.1 as per the road design guideline 
it is similar however it is providing a minimum dimension here the distance from uh, from the edge of the obstruction or maybe a little bit of space required at the end of the ramp which is 1330 minimum and as you can see by yourself 45 degree spy in here so from that point which is in here it just goes up 45 degree and 45 degree here this is a cross section a as you can see here the dimensions all are provided as per idm standard drawings the dimension is provided as 1500 1500 each council has a different dimension and 750 is a is a splay in here 750 both side display is provided expansion joint is required before landing starts and 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 here where the cross is there this need to be designed maximum of 2% grade not more than that that's a requirement as per the IDM standard as you can see on the screen the cross sections where the footpath the landing which is the cross section is in here maximum cross pull of 2 percentage the dimension of 1500 again it comes to expansion joint in here and from that on uh, uh, 1 8 percent maximum 1.5 meter length up to the up to the uh, uh, leap or, or leap or, or leap you can say uh, before the leap invert of the curve and 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 the bedding is defined as a 50 millimeter compacted class 3 aggregate the layback thickness is 150 millimeter expansion joint detail is being provided with the dowel and the filling material pvc cap for the expansion joint concrete to be smooth travel finish is required and concrete to be higher room finish on a layback the strength of the concrete is required to be 25 megapascal and bedding to be compacted to 99% dry density so that's a requirement as per the IDM standard drawing the maximum cross pole is is the one which shall not be increased more than 1.8 percentage and and uh, tactile surface indicator is required if it is 1 in 8 or uh, about to be nearby 1 in 8 percent cross fold tactile surface indicator is required here it provides uh, a friction between pedestrian uh, uh, pedestrian uh, it provides support for pedestrian in a wet condition uh, each council has a different requirement in terms of dimensions however that uh, uh, maximum cross fall here is 1 in 8 percentage which we need to be uh, uh, we need to be ensured as you can see that uh, this side uh, the layback is provided the existing layback was there and 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 the cover of 50 millimeter sl sl 82 mesh is there and then uh, and then a dowel of 10 10 millimeter diameter dowel is been uh, 350 millimeter long dowel is been provided uh, to have uh, a rigid connection support at the end this from this is uh, i have taken this photo from the garden where as you can see that uh, uh, see that uh, the uh, that in joint in here uh, the leap uh, the leap is, is is constructed with stone and there is a bit of a gap between uh, between the landing as well as the stone and eventually the water can gets into that and at the long term it it it's it rates surface and then uh, at the end it allows more maintenance cost here is the second example 
whereas the leap is not concreted. Uh, there is a clear gap between the existing prom ramp landing and the uh, edge of the lip. So the Charles is, is again the water precipitates it inside and then it allows subgrade to be weakened. The second is uh, it is not designed as 45 degree dimension. As you can see here it should be like that way. And from here as well it should be like that way. And it hasn't ramp, uh, 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 created an uh, angle up so that angle up is very minimum because 45 degree angle is missing and as you can see the crack has been appeared all the way as the time goes on this uh, prom ramp i have taken from uh, a photo is taken from uh, intersection sub uh, suburban road where as you can see that uh, it designs for axis cross four and tactile surface indicator is missing as well as as well as uh, as well as uh, you can able to see that there isn't uh, there isn't uh, there isn't splay is being provided much more all the way it is designed less than 45 degree angle and all the way it is significantly wider than what the dimension required so there the thing uh, uh, we need to be ensured when we design uh, the prom ramp this photo I have taken from uh, 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 the street uh, nearby where I live. As you can see, it provides very uh, the gradual uh, uh, moderate slope, a uh, very moderate slope, uh, allows pedestrian to cross the road all the way. Uh, when I zoomed in all this angle, you can see able to see that there is a bit of a crack all the way. And part of the reason is uh, reason is there isn't much more dowel is provided between between uh, between uh, uh, between the top of the lip uh, as well as the prom rep landing. So dowel uh, uh, should have been missed out uh, while construction, and you can able to see the shear cracks all the way around. Uh, this prom rep uh, is, is taken from city area uh, where as you can see that uh, the display is moderate and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, pretty much joint at the top is 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 not provided it's all way one way concrete uh, is has been poured all the way so the uh, probably a dowel is missing from that connection Uh, when designing uh, the condition where uh, I used to be come across when there was a cycle path I used to design and we provided uh, from carb ramp the situation of the carb ramp selection of the carb ramp is such that when the vehicle is passing through it can able to see the cycle way all cyclist so that the crash doesn't happen and uh, uh, we allowed for two meter extra for both way as per the standard requirement. This is again a curb ramp where there is a bit of a widening is provided so that the pedestrian uh, 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 cyclist can also come all the way while pedestrian can walk across uh, and complies with uh, complies with uh, standard uh, guidelines. Uh, part of the reason I have observed is is not uh, following standard drawing construction detail as well as while the designing uh, uh, documentation doesn't address uh, address uh, address uh, uh, the 45 degree supply which is once we design this one ideally is a good practice to use civil theory create the point at the beginning using a point creation tool and providing the point names and creating a point groups and then uploading the point groups into that uh, into the documentation so that uh, while construction we make sure that this point comes in here and then it has to supply up all the way from this and this point so always good practice to create a point group providing in documentations and creating a table of content for each point uh, using point command in a civil theory so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, talk and uh, any feedbacks please email us or just put in the comments 
once again thank you very much